Okay, thanks. Welcome, everybody. I've, uh, I like to show this slide at the beginning because, A, we, we like to wear shorts in the office. Uh, but most importantly, that is exactly what you see when you came into our office, which is our core values and our purpose right on the wall. Trice is a company that is on the market today, uh, but small and continuing to adapt, and you're going to hear a little bit of a story about that. Uh, my name is Mark Foster. I spent eight years at Boston Scientific, eight years at Smith & Nephew, and the opportunity to come to a small company and really build uh, a great company that enhances quality of life is, is an exciting challenge for us. Uh, we were named a great place to work, and the reason we have that on there, uh, again, as a small company that is trying to find your way, uh, it's really important to keep the employees focused around the, the mission, which is not some sort of end mysterious goal to get acquired or to go public, but to really to, to build that culture in the office uh, and get people excited about what we do. Many of you have seen this type of thing. This is our, our plan when we started on the top, a pretty clear path. Uh, we, uh, like many of you, uh, understand that the reality is in the bottom and we're somewhere in the middle of that, uh, of that swirling circle today. Uh, we're lucky enough to have great investors, HealthQuest, Biostar, uh, our last round of funding, uh, the Michigan Employee uh, uh, Retirement Fund came in as well. Smith & Nephew is a, is a partner and on our board, as is Safeguard. So this is a real story of a company that um, started uh, with one certain mission and has really adapted over time. So our story started, uh, we have today a, a platform in minimally invasive orthopedics. Uh, started with the opportunity of putting a needle, uh, putting optics at the end of a needle and showing uh, patients in the office what their pathology looks like. Over time, we've added to that portfolio, and now we've got a pretty robust uh, platform in this small uh, in invasive uh, sports medicine orthopedics. Uh, at the same time, what people don't know and what is not uh, public, particularly in our, our social media content, is that we're able to leverage this platform and the core technology that's driving these cameras and tablets across other fields of use. Uh, we have uh, signed licensing agreements um, with very large public companies in neurology as well as uh, pulmonary and, and a veterinary space that um, I'll show you a little bit about what those products look like. But basically we're able to leverage all those people in shorts, the engineers, and have them working on lots of things across lots of different platforms. Uh, below the orange line, this is really the orthopedic evolution of this company. Again, started with the idea of putting needle uh, optics on a tablet there on the left. Uh, advancing technology, putting ultrasound on that same tablet, acquiring a company in a minimally invasive procedure called carpal tunnel, which we'll show you. Um, and then lastly, really moving to these small procedures in a box. So starting in the diagnostic capabilities, getting into diagnostic ultrasound, adding uh, procedures, and again at the top, some of our milestones and some of our partnerships outside of orthopedics, which provides some uh, great non-dilutive uh, financing opportunities for us. This is the guts of the technology. Uh, you've got a fully disposable camera that is 1.8 millimeter uh, uh, in size, a reusable transducer for ultrasound. It's great for sports injuries, delivery of biologics, uh, as well as providing you access to do these minimally invasive procedures without the heavy infrastructure of an operating room. Who in this room has had an MRI? Okay, so you know what that experience is like. And it's a little bit like this here on the top. You go to your physician, they give you an exam. Uh, they say, I think you have a meniscal tear or a rotator cuff uh, tear. I need you to go out of here, go get your MRI, then come back, get in the queue to have me tell you what I probably could have told you uh, two weeks ago, and then off to surgery. So the my eye in the office has the potential to shorten that pathway by at least two weeks and studies would show between $800 and $2,000 of savings to the system by delivering that information in, in the office at the first visit. And it looks a little bit like this. So uh, this is a patient having an in-office arthroscopy. The system, uh, it, right now he's using the ultrasound. So on the same tablet, we're able to uh, look uh, via the ultrasound transducer to accurately place this needle, which will deliver the anesthetic. 
Uh, and then after the patient is uh, numbed up and comfortable, you're gonna see a physician use our fully disposable needle camera. And now the patient is comfortable, they've got shoulder pathology, the physician is able to, under direct visualization with the patient, identify pathology. And you can't underestimate how important that is, the connection of the physician and the patient as you are looking at the pathology on the screen, the physician is pointing out, you see this bumpy area, it's not supposed to look like that, and the retention for the patient is really significant, where they're able to comprehend what's happening to them. Uh, in this situation, the physician is actually gonna uh, withdraw the fluid that he put into the shoulder, and then he's gonna deliver PRP uh, directly through the camera under direct visualization. So the patient is able to come into the office, leave with not only information about what's happening in their joint, but also delivered some therapy here with PRP all in, in one office setting, saving a significant amount of time um, and resources to the system. In addition to this in-office arthroscopy market, uh, I gotta thank the team from LSI, it was very helpful as we start to look at where else can these cameras play. Um, so we got some great data uh, through, the, through the Scott and the team here, looking at what are the procedures, not only what is the volume of procedures, but how long do the procedures take? So the orange line you're looking at here is the procedure time. So ultimately there are over a million arthroscopies done a year in the US that take less than 25 minutes to perform. So these are uh, procedures that are ripe to be able to get in there. They oftentimes they take longer to set up the room than they do to actually perform. So being able to use disposable cameras on a portable tablet can really help. The largest of those markets that we just looked at here, the carpal tunnel market is a large one. And as a result of that, we acquired a company here called Segway that allows you to release that ligament under direct visualization. Uh, what you're looking at on the right is uh, the carpal tunnel system. Uh, it's a large market worth over 193 million just in the US. About 30% of those procedures are done with a camera. And, and this is what the infrastructure looks like. <coughs> Excuse me, the picture on the left in the operating room is a carpal tunnel procedure being done at the Rothman Institute. There are five people in that room. Uh, there's heavy infrastructure, there's towers, there's reusable trays, and uh, the procedure itself takes usually between five and eight minutes. The turnover of the room takes about an hour. So the opportunity, what we've done here, it, we've put the fully disposable camera, made all the instruments disposable, and now we're launching the world's first fully disposable carpal tunnel release system so that now a physician with just a portable tablet and their camera and their instruments can go and perform that procedure anywhere they want to, whether it's in the office or in the procedure room. And obviously we've studied that and, and shown again that there's real savings to the system of uh, at least $120 by using disposable instruments versus the reusable, not to mention the efficiencies of the procedure that, that are gained. So that's a little bit about our orthopedics. Again, what we're doing is we're really focused on moving some of these procedures from the heavy infrastructure of the OR into the surgery center, into the procedure room with less infrastructure, because as you all know, there's a wave of trying to get the total joints into the surgery centers, out of the hospitals. Well, there's a world of small procedures sitting today in those surgery centers that need to go somewhere. And we're gonna facilitate that move into the procedure rooms. So <coughs> I mentioned, uh, again, what are we happening? So that's a little bit about our orthopedic direct channel that we have. In addition to that, we've got this guts of, a, of optical engineers and softwares and tablets that have an opportunity to play in much bigger markets. There's over 60 million procedures a year that are done with a camera. These are large, growing markets, everything endoscopically. Trice has an opportunity to, to lead within. And the reason is, is really all about this tablet. So what we do is we take the, uh, a Microsoft Surface tablet and we essentially make our own computer and our own software that is attached to that tablet. The op electrical optical assembly is the engine of the, of the, of the um, cameras and they wrap together in the software and the tablets. So our vision is to take this tablet and provide multiple cameras. These are some of the cameras we're working on outside of orthopedics. This is our bronchoscopy product. That's a product for neuroendoscopy. And there's a women's health fully disposable hysteroscope on the top left. 
So Trice has the opportunity to connect all these devices and provide software capabilities so that the image doesn't just end on the, on the tablet, that it continues to go and provides additional information for, for patients and for providers. So it's an exciting time for us uh, and, and we're really focused again. The key comes down to building a great company, having the employees that can pivot along with your business and, uh, and finding new opportunities. So thank you again for your time and we'll be in the breakouts if you have any questions.